I think it means to raise the bar and to raise the standards is to have high expectations for our students. Um, we know that they can achieve so much. I mean, I, I teach middle school writing and I get to see growth from sixth grade through eighth grade. And every year, what I expect of them goes up. Uh, raising the bar means always looking for that next step, what I can improve myself on. Like if I have an A minus in the class, I always want to get it to that A. Raising the bar means setting new limits to push myself as hard as possible. Raising the bar means getting better in everything I can do. Raising the bar to me means um, stepping out of my comfort zone and just doing better than I do now. Be respectful, to be kind to others, pray before I go to bed. Raising the bar to me means being better than you were the day before in any aspect of life. You have a practice one day, you can't go into the next practice and be content with staying the same. You need to get better. In school, you want to understand the concepts and move on to the next and they pile on like that. Um, in my personal life, anything like relationships, they should only be getting better each day and each day you should try to better yourself. I think it's continuing to reevaluate and to look at how we can do things better. Um, and uh, I know from an academic perspective, uh, the work that's been done in the last three years with Dr. Reichen and the curriculum side, I feel like we're really holding our kids accountable uh, academically. And I know from the athletic component and uh, the spiritual development with Ms. Winnowister, I think across the board, I think the kids that come to Bishop are being held to a high standard. And I think that they will benefit from that going forward. Really when we were looking at the theme for Catholic Schools Week and we talked about standards and raising the bar, the second thing after academic standards that we thought about is really raising the bar for living and how we're following the gospel values of Jesus and how we are living as individuals with all of our students living the gospel values. I improve myself as a Catholic by reading the Bible, praying, and following in the footsteps of Jesus. To improve myself as a Catholic, I believe in God and I listen during religion class. At church, I really try to focus on the readings and understand what they're saying so I can take it to heart. I expect students to be active participants in their education. I hope that they can um, set standards for themselves, set goals for themselves, and ask for help if they need help, ask help from their friends if they and get help, but I don't want my students to ever give up. I need them to keep pushing, to keep trying. At Bishop, in the classroom, the teachers don't stop until you understand the concepts, which is applicable in life beyond high school, which is getting us ready for college. We like, we shouldn't stop trying to learn until we've learned all we need to know. My teachers always expect the best out of me um, because I expect the best out of myself, so they're always pushing me to be better. I think my teachers expect good things from me. Don't disobey your teacher and everything, so then you'll, then you'll have a nice teacher too. Uh, as myself, I really try to be an example. I try to be positive. I try to, uh, to live out my faith and try to witness that to the students that are entrusted to me.
I expect all of our students to be the best that they can be. That's as far as academic goes, their spiritual growth and development, and just them as individuals. We have high expectations, again, academically, socially, and spiritually for our students.